two-way development is a fantastic way of, of, of volunteering because it's something which is work orientated. It's not just just a holiday. It's something which will improve your CV and you get you're being useful when you're here. You're not just on a holiday. You're 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 being able to contribute to something that's quite tangible. My name is Christian Rassi. I got in touch with two-way development because it simply narrowed down the options and it helped me a lot to find an organisation that I really wanted to work with. If you're on your own, if you're in the UK and you want to work with an organisation somewhere in the developing world, I mean, where, where do you even start to, to look for, for these organisations? You want to find an organisation you can trust, you want to, you want to find an organisation that doesn't just waste your money, um, that doesn't just talk about doing good things, but that actually does good things. Two-way development just took care of all of that for me. And I've been in Nairobi for just under two months now, working with an organization called Chitlang Kenya. We run a 24 hours uh, child helpline, which essentially provides counseling services, legal support, and education, and um, education to children and also to parents as well. Uh, but we also do a lot of uh, awareness education and uh, dealing with the child abuse cases that are reported through the helpline. Christian has been really fantastic. I, I actually don't know how he manages, but within a very short time, he's done phenomenal work. My name is Christopher Rocks. I'm from Scotland in the UK. I'm 23 years old. I'm a volunteer with Two Way Development and I've come to Nairobi to work for an NGO in Kibera. So we're in the IDWES office, it's the NGO I'm working for, which is called the Institute of Development and Welfare Services. Uh, we're in the office in Kibera. Kibera is the um, biggest slum in East Africa. In international development you certainly need experience of living in a foreign country and working in a foreign country and I think coming here obviously one of the main reasons was to build up that experience and, and be, get the challenges in a, in a new place, in a different place. So for sure that's, that's going to help. Ido is, uh, is doing quite a number of things uh, in the community. First of all we are doing the economic empowerment whereby we we train the women, you know, on group savings and loan, group savings and loan, whereby they, they group themselves. After training them, they group themselves, and then they start loaning the money, and then they start their own, you know, income generating activities, that is business. And we've actually set up in Idawes more than 50 group saving and loan groups, and um, that's where a group of women come together, they save money on a weekly basis, and are able to borrow money and to try and help them support the businesses. You do, you meet people and we've been around to speak to people about their businesses, um, especially with the looking at the micro lending, the group savings. We've been to see people, see their workplace, see what they're doing uh, and how they're getting on and people are nice, they want to talk to you for, for hours. <laughs> In many ways, it, it works both for the volunteer in terms of gaining experience from an international angle and for us to have international expertise that we are not having to pay for because we cannot afford it otherwise, it would be too expensive. Myself, I'm, I'm reasonably young so I haven't had so much work experience as well so it's definitely something very new for me as well um, but in areas that I'm interested in and using some things that I already have knowledge of so yeah it's a good balance between things that I have experience of and new challenges. If you're open-minded and flexible then by all means I would say go for it and you're going to have a very very good time and I'm certainly having a really good time.